How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and I don't know if you can see me in there but welcome to my, well our, all monster trap uh, AFK farm. So <laughs> I'll show you how this works very soon um, if you can make out what's actually going on. Alright, see you soon. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna give you a quick look around the trap but let's be serious here guys. This episode is about smashing up a heap of bosses. I'm excited, you're excited, we've been doing this for a while now. Everyone's been saying, make a trap, kill all the bosses at once. And I've got most of them here guys, got most of them. Some of them are a bit of a pain to get up to the trap, Plantera didn't want to come. So, quick look at the wiring. We've got the cascading bat trap flying down. Actu Activating all the actuated spears. Man, that's a tongue twister. They're going to turn on the spears of pain, which are set up for the twins because spasmatism and retinaza fly in the exact same places all the time. We've got spiky balls set up for the destroyer and anyone foolish enough to come down here. We're also using the pygmy staff this time. A few of you have been like, hey, happy. Why are you using ravens all the time, bro? Aren't you getting tired of ravens? And I know. They're an endgame summon, but they're so good for AFK traps. So we're going to use some pygmies today, it's going to be great. Let's get our summoning items on here and get this show on the road. Turning on the slime, we got fireworks, let's get the uh, bat statue happening. Even got a little actuated fishing hole there. Thanks for that suggestion, that was amazing. Alright, so let's get some of these pygmies summoned, guys. Just gonna put one down here too to get rid of that jellyfish and rid of that harpy. We don't want to die halfway through this. That would be sad. Alrighty, so let's get these pygmies summoned. I summon them underneath the trap so they don't kill all of the slimes. Just gonna throw the tiki armor on so we get a extra minion summoned, which will be super useful. Alright, got that bad boy there. Let's open up the little fishing hole here and get this party started. Alright, so as you can see it falls in the water nicely there. And waiting for that bob, here he comes. Here comes Duke Fisher onto the party. We've got Golem Summon now and hold on to your hats people. Here comes the Eye of Cthulhu, everyone's scared now. Okay, just summon Skeletron Prime. Let's get the twins in the party. And last but not least, let's ask the Destroyer to make an appearance. Okay, so as you can see, this is absolute chaos going on right here. And the Pygmies are doing a nice little job down the bottom. Is Eye of Cthulhu still alive? Probably not. Let's summon another one for the lulls. How's that go? Where is that little eye? There he is. What a trooper. Get in there, buddy. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? <laughs> I think he's almost... Nah, he's dead already. Poor little eye. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I guess... What I'd like to say is thanks to all the support, all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers. Not that you're old, but you know what I mean. Uh, thanks to everyone commenting in the comments. Because what else can you do in the comments, really? Um, really enjoying uh, running this YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. Can't wait to hit 500, which we're about to do soon. And keep moving on from there as well. Bigger and better things, guys. Bigger and better. And I can do it only with your support. Alright, just having a look at this trap. We've got Juki Baby almost dead here. And Skeletron Primes mucking around up the top. The only issue with using the Pygmies is they have slightly lower damage and their spears occasionally do miss. So it does slow it down a bit. I was actually going to use a Heart Reach Potion and a Life Extender, but we didn't need it. So it's all good, but you could use them if you wanted to. You know how sometimes the Slime Trap doesn't quite defend you from every little attack? That might be useful there. Okay, Duke's gone and slammed himself into the wall and killed himself. So now we've just got Skeletron Prime who has to do us the pleasure of offing himself. And we've got a Golem Fist. Alright, so uh, he's just flying around, keeping this going as long as possible. He's really enjoying himself. Alright, I can't wait to check out this loot. We've got a bubble gun, which is pretty cool. 
And come on, there we go. Let's turn this off, turn that off, knock these probes out of the park. And I'm excited to check out some loot, people. Let's put on our travel gear again and our swimming tickies. Yeah, it's like they're celebrating. All right, in we go. Let's see what treasures await. All right, we've got the bubble gun. Pretty nice. Souls of Flight. Beetle husks. Very good. Oh, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Oh, Demon Idol. That makes some great stuff. I'm liking the Golem Fist. Good for a melee character. Plenty of hallowed bars. We've got a bubble gun. That's kind of fun. Oh, look at that bubbly goodness. Loving that. Alrighty. So, I'll just put up that wiring one more time if you're keen on that. Uh, it's a fairly basic design. You could kill everything a lot faster if you were so inclined. Feel free to pause the video and check out the wiring. And just moving down here. Um, yeah, nothing too fancy. I'm sure you guys, if you've been following my videos, you're getting pretty good at wiring by the sounds of it now, which I love. We're going to look at Hoik traps this week on uh, the Weekly Wire, so stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. You know you want to do it and join us here. You're going to have a great time. And as always, guys, the most important part, stay happy till I talk to you again. Happy days signing out. And yes, I just clicked my fingers. I don't know why. <laughs> See ya.